Hey guys, it's Laura again with Quilted Chicken, and it's another day. It's another blockhead that we're going to get to do. Um, this one is from Ann Sutton of Bunny Hill Designs, and she's actually got a new, she's got another fabric line coming out in August. It's called The Flower Farm, and it's all pinks and reds, and it's super cute. She's got a kit also um, with, of course, all of her her um, classic applique that she does with um, with her designs. The block that she's got for us today is called Spinner. And I was really excited about this block because, uh, as you can see, the center is plain. It's a, you cut it at a five inch square, which is perfect for a charm square. Or if you're super um, excited and motivated and um, inspired, you can f you can do one of the mini blocks. All of our mini blocks that we've been doing um, are five inch. They finish at a four and a half inch block, so that's perfect for this center. This center uh, can change completely uh, how this block looks, the design of this block. She's also got instructions, you may have seen, where uh, we're going to do a four patch in here and then uh, to make it look more, it's going to look almost like a pinwheel. Uh, we're going to have a, a four patch just right there in the center. So we're going to get our fabrics picked out and we're going to get going. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm happy with this. If you notice, I've laid it out, or I've tried to kind of fold my fabrics and lay them out in the general kind of idea that's, um, that's on this block. Um, I'm going to have a cream here and a, a light, a lighter here and a lighter here, and then a little bit darker on these two sides. This is a colored dark. I'm going to um, have Oh, we'll see. We'll see when I start cutting things out how it's going to come together. So let's let's cut out the blocks that I know for sure. This is going to be our half square triangle here with a solid block. So I still do need some uh, something in the corners to give it a little bit of pop. So we'll start cutting out and see how that goes. Okay, so our center block that we're going to do a simple four patch in, it says you need one square five by five inches or four squares two and three quarter by two and three quarters. We then have uh, these four blocks that we're going to alternate um, four different colors on. So we're going to have um, four different fabrics that are two and three quarter inches each. We then have four um, half square triangles. The half square triangles are cut at three and an eighth by three and an eighth. I am going to cut mine at three and a quarter and then we'll stitch them in and uh, trim them down. Okay. 
And then our four outside corners are cut two and three quarter by two and three quarter. Uh, it says four squares. I've cut uh, four separate colors. We're not gonna use this print, and I hate that because it's such a nice little fun print. It's too, uh, there's too, it's too dark on this corner. It's gonna detract from our center, so we're gonna use just a simple polka dot. There we go. I think that's a little more balanced. All right, so we're gonna get it stitched up and see what we think. So we have our half square triangles. Those are cut down the center and then stitched a quarter inch in. So I've got my four here that are extra from our singles. I'll save those for something else. Side. I'm liking how it's looking so far, guys. Well, guys, look at that. It turned out pretty nice. I like the kind of grungy, mishmashy look. This is a little bit dark, but that's what we get. So I'm pretty happy. And it does look like a fun little spinner. So that was the block from Ann Sutton of Bunny Hill Designs. We're gonna we're gonna get the smaller block, our five, our four and a half inch block that finishes up to four and a half inch. We're gonna get that finished and posted. Um, and the new block for the week is out, so we will get that um, filmed and edited and taken care of soon. Uh, you can check the um, links out at quiltedchicken.com or if you're a part of the Moda Block Heads group they have those in the files um, there so thanks a lot let's get to stitching guys we'll see you later